Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are learning about area of a parallelogram today. We're going to talk about the area of a parallelogram, and then we're going to have some practice questions um, calculating the area of a parallelogram. First, I want to show you a little bit of an animation of why the area of a par parallelogram equation works. So this is a parallelogram, <clears throat> and we're going to cut this end off um, and then move it over to here. Now what shape does this make when we cut off one end and put it over here? And by the way, this works for every parallelogram. Um, every parallelogram will follow this same pattern. This is a rectangle. And we know that the area of a rectangle is length times width. So with a parallelogram, all we need to do is the same exact equation, only we call it base times height. See, we have a rectangle. Um, our base is this measurement here, and the height, it, this is important, the height is the perpendicular line that goes from the base to the, the other base. The, the top and bottom are both called bases. Because again, you can flip it over and it doesn't matter. Um, but the height is the, the perpendicular distance between those two. So it's the same as length times width on a rectangle, um, but it is base times height because it's a parallelogram. Other than that, it's the same exact thing. So let's do a couple questions. Calculate the area. We're going to multiply the base times the height. And the trick with this one is that I've given you three numbers. So we have to determine which one is the base, which one is the height, and which number is not necessary. So remember what I said. The base is going to be this one and the height is the distance, the perpendicular distance between them. You could cut off this triangle and move it over to here if, if that would make you feel better, um, and you would have yourself a rectangle that's 5 by 6. The length or measurement of this side being 7 centimeters does not matter. That's an extra piece of information we don't need. Okay, So when we're calculating area, it's 5 times 6, and our area will be 30 square centimeters. Remember, with area, we're measuring in squares. So it's centimeters raised to the power of 2. And we read that as square centimeters. Now it's practice time. I would like for you to go ahead and pause the recording. Try and solve this one. You have three pieces of information. You are just multiplying the base times the height. Go for it. Here is our equation. The area is equal to the base times the height. In this case, I put the base on the top just to show you that the base doesn't matter if it's on the top or bottom. It's not base like the bottom. It is one side length, and the height is the perpendicular distance between those two side lengths that are the same measurement. All right, so area is base times height, in this case, three, 10 times 3, and that will give us 30 square meters. Next practice question. I want you to multiply the base times the height. For this one, I've decided to turn it sideways. Um, doesn't really change anything, but maybe it'll make it fun. So go ahead and pause the recording. Try that one out. All right, are you back? Wonderful. We are multiplying the base times the height. In this case, it's 12.6 is our base, and our height is 5.2. When we multiply those together, we get 65.52 square inches. All right? Is that what you got? I hope so, because that's pretty much it. That's uh, all about the area of a parallelogram. If you need more practice, go back through, keep practicing. You can substitute any numbers you want in for parallelograms to give yourself a little bit more practice, but you're just multiplying the base times the perpendicular height to get the area of a parallelogram. Hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a great day.